What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I have a quick little unboxing for you guys today. This is one I'm kind of excited to unbox. This is a knife I would like to own, but uh, I just can't swing it right now. This is not my knife. This knife is for the next knife sale coming up. And I'm actually going to unbox this knife again uh, during a live stream. Uh, I'm doing my live stream uh, tonight. It's Sunday morning right now, so I'm doing a live stream tonight. I'm going to unbox it in that too. But uh, I want to go ahead and put a unboxing video out there also and show it to you guys because I know everybody's not going to be in the live streams and, uh, you know, being there for two hours, you know, the, the streams go pretty long. So hour, hour, two, hour or two. So let's jump right into this one. I know a lot of people want this knife right now. A lot of people are looking for it. It's a hot, a hot commodity right now. You're like, it's just a Manix 2. I mean, yeah, it's just a Manix 2. I love the Manix 2. This isn't any Manix 2. The Triple B, Big Brown Bear, I believe it is. With the 15V blade. I'll be completely honest. I've never owned a knife with 15V. I can only tell you what I've heard from other people. And from what I've heard from other people, it supposedly has excellent edge retention. So, um... Yeah, but again, I, I don't know. I don't have any personal experience with it. I've also heard it will patina. The uh, steel will patina. Kind of like Maximet will. I don't know how true that is. Good looking knife, though. I love the Manix. Here's my Manix. Yeah. If I bought this, I would be putting some uh, applied weapons technology scales on it. Even if that's all you do, do that because you get rid of the liners. You get to delete the liners. You no longer need them. It will cut the weight way down on this knife. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's in my opinion, is a must-do on every Manix 2 at this point. And I, I guess there's some titanium scales. You can do the same thing, and you delete the liners. But just for me, I, I want to get the knives as lightweight as possible. And uh, so I like the uh, aluminum. I wish there was a way you could do uh, liner deletes with fat carbon. Never seen anyone pull that one off yet, but it would be cool if they could figure out a way to do it. Some kind of formula in the fat carbon to make it strong enough to no longer need liners. But anyway, guys, just a quick little unboxing for you. This will be in the next knife cell, which I don't have a date for. This video will probably go live. It will probably, it'll probably be two Fridays after you see this video or three Fridays after you see this video. So it will be the knife self. I'll keep everybody posted uh, on YouTube and let you know when it's coming up. And I got some more knives I got to unbox for you. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all on the next one. 